good he is, how good he is, how good he is. You know, um, in the book of Daniel, there's a story about Nebuchadnezzar the king. And he didn't love God, didn't know God, didn't give praise to God. And one night, he found himself out in the fields with feathers and claws like an animal, yeah. like a beast. Yeah. And it took him seven years to come to his senses. Amen. But can you imagine when he was there under the stars and he gave God the glory yeah. when he came to his senses? Right. He didn't need a crowd of a thousand around, did he? No. He didn't need anybody else around, did he? All he needed was God around. Ah. And he got God around when he got give God the praise. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord. Glory to God. Let's give him a hand clap of praise. He's so awesome, God. He's so I could run, Rick. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just how it was. I, uh, 
come from a rough home. I didn't deserve to be saved. I didn't. My attitude, my makeup would never deserve the mercy that God poured upon me. But He loved me. Yes. Where I was at, Rick, I didn't have to go over here and take a bath and clean up before He loved me. He loved no. me where I was. Amen. He cared about me, David. And He started moving obstacles out of my life and moving good things in my life. He moved God into my life. And I began to think, <clears throat> Can things be different? I had run my way so long. And I, I come out of conviction. And if you've never been under conviction, let me tell you, you can't even breathe. You can't do anything. When the conviction of God hits you, man, you're just powerless. His conviction was all over me. And uh, like I said, she was my girlfriend. She started saying, she went to church. She said, what is wrong with you? You're acting so strange. I said, there's something stirring in me. I don't know what it is, but there's something changing in me. And Dot and my brother-in-law were going to be baptized up the river. And I didn't know if I even believed in God. I'd been so disillusioned with God. I'd seen so many bad things that I attributed to God. You see, my vision of God wasn't a loving Savior. My vision of God is some old long, white-haired dude with a big beard and a lightning bolt, and he's ready to just zap me every time I got out of line. My vision of God is somebody that wanted to restrict, hold me back, but my heart melted that day on that riverbank, David. And I began to fall down. Tears began to stream down my face. I confessed my many sins. And believe you me, they were many. The Holy Spirit of the Lord entered me. The blood of Jesus washed over me and made me a new creature. My life has never, ever been the same. And I want to take the time this morning just to thank Jesus that He loved me anyway. No matter what I've done, what I've been into, you know. My attitude. I don't think I would have overlooked my attitude. My attitude stuck. I'm talking about I, I spent like I hadn't had a bath a long time. I was rotten. But Jesus loved me and He saved me. Tonight, today, I'd like to give you the opportunity to testify what the Lord's done for you. Well, I thank the Lord for saving me. It all happened when I was 15 years old. I didn't know God. I was running, running fast as I could. I was scared. I was terrified of God. I really was. That's because I didn't know Him. I didn't know Him. And, but I've walked this journey through life with the Lord. It's sometimes been up and sometimes been down. And I have found God to be so good. I have found God to be always faithful. I cannot tell you that he ever let me down. Not even once. He's never let me down. I have let him down times without number. But he's never let me down. Right. When I think now, all these years later, about the goodness of God and the greatness of God, it totally overwhelms me. <clears throat> To the point, I'm just about speechless. And I want everybody here to know how good he is and how great he is. Because a lot of people, the world, and a whole lot of Christians, they got God in this tiny little box. And they think he's so little and so small. But let me tell you something. Steve's got a video on YouTube. And it's showing these great humongous waves out on the ocean. Okay, I'm talking about the world, God. Right? And these waves are so big and so huge, people caught this and put it on film, and I get to see it. Yeah. 
I just get to see these mighty, mighty waves. And I'm watching that, and I'm blown away by the greatness of God. And I'm thinking, golly, that's like comparing all his hugeness and all, all that he's done, all that he's made, to one little tiny drop. You know, we don't give God enough credit for how big and how great he is. And, and I can prove that by the way we tend to worry all the time. You know, Jesus plainly said, bring your worries to me. But we don't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we go talk to him about it. God, this is killing me. God, do something. And we just go on with our troubled mind and our tortured lives, nothing ever being changed, do we? But he's so ready. He's so quick. So quick to forgive. So quick to make everything right. And he even said, why are you so slow to believe? You know, that, that really touches my heart. That breaks my heart. Why are we and I know and understand, and God does too, that we're bombarded on every side, every day of our life, by everything that the devil can throw at us, okay? But if we can only say, hey, the devil's at work, get behind me, Satan, you're yeah. under my feet. Right. Amen. 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 But I'm just trying to tell you this morning what I have found out, who God is, and what he means to me. And the scripture that I've carried through my life that's helped me so much and blessed me so much and gave me so much strength so many times is greater is he that's in me than he that's in his Amen. world. Yes. Our God is so big, he holds it all right there in the palm of his Amen. Can we even imagine how great he is, Steve? Can we? No. He is so great. The Bible says from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun, his name is to be praised. He is worthy. He is worthy. And when I think that he let the glories and the splendors and the riches and the awesomeness of heaven itself, the Bible says mine cannot comprehend what it is even like up there in heaven. And yet he came to this sin, sick world so full of darkness and yes. evil and ugliness that he became marred more than any other man, meaning when they got done beating him, you couldn't even recognize yeah. who the man was. Amen. You couldn't even recognize him. And he done that because he loved me. He loved me. That woman at the well in the video, she got so excited. When, he, when she found out, man, you know everything about me. How is this? You know everything about me. He said, go call your husband. She said, I had none. He said, well, you've had five husbands, and the one you're living with now is not your husband. Sir, I perceive you're a prophet. And she ran, she ran all the way back to him, town. She said, you've got to come see a man that told me all ever I've done. Is this not the Christ? Is this not him? She was so excited. They all come running. Wouldn't we like to be like that yes. ourselves? That our family to start with, for heaven's sakes, would come running. Our moms, our yeah. dads, our sisters, <clears throat> our brothers. My blessed little sister, she was on legal drugs for 25 years. 25 years she couldn't overcome. She ended up with a bullet in her own heart by her own hand. Legal drugs. I'm telling you, sometimes doctors can't help you. Sometimes they can't do nothing no. for you. But there's one little man for failure. His name is Jesus Amen. Christ. Yeah. He loves us. He died Amen. for us. He laid it all yeah. down. He was born more than any other man. And we can't love him. And why are we so slow to believe in who he is? He said, at least believe for the very work's sake. Look around you people. Look what he's brought you from, the end. Yes. Look what he's brought me from. I come from a family of just pure dark depression. I was depressed all my life. You talk about living in a home. That's where I live. That was my place. But one day, in 04, God said, Dot, you got to quit being so negative. My God, I was raised up with one step forward, okay? Now you got to go back to. Anybody ever heard of that one? Yeah, that's, you have, ain't you? Yeah, that's what we were raised up with, wasn't it? You can never win. That's no. what that says. You can never win. But my God told me I could win. He told me I could, and I could tell you I am a winner. I have found it. I have found it, ye. It don't seem like it sometimes, but I can tell you, Part of it is because of what I was brought from, what I came from. Yes. But I remember what I came from. I have not forgot what the Lord done for me. And I give him all the praise and all the glory. And I have the best support team in the world. My husband, my three children, their families knows what God's brought me from, don't you, Dan? You know, 
My blessed mama, she just turned 89. I thank God for her. I take her out every Thursday. We go out and eat, and I try to do for her the very best I can. We go by there after church like we do every Sunday to see our mom. And I thank God for them. People, you just got to keep on. Amen. Keep on. Yes. There's no place to quit. There's no place to stop. We're running this race, and you've got to give it all. Unless you fall down and you quit, and you get left behind, and you lose things that you attained that was so hard to attain. We can't do that. We can't risk it. We can't take the chance. We've got to get turned on to God. And then he will heal us. He will heal our lands, our yes. families. People won't have to commit suicide. People won't have to die of sickness and disease and death and all this pain and wretched torment they go through. We see it all around yeah. us, the society we live in. Man, it's everywhere. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Jesus said it don't have to be that way. It don't have to be that way. Steve told me that for years. I would be so down and so black and so blue He'd say, God, he'd just shake his head and say, it don't have to be that way. It don't have to be that way. Until one time, one day, he said it one time too much. He said it again. It don't have to be that way. And I went, well, I mean, I'm all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful when the light goes on. Yes, yes. I said, wow, well, it don't have to be that way. And I got up out of my stool of do nothing, my sea of misery, <laughs> and I stood up, and I started well, whenever people would throw pop shots at me, I just dodge them, you know. Hit me again if you can, I'll dodge at you too. And I learned to dodge, you know. I learned to dodge. You can learn to dodge, can't you? You can. You can learn to dodge and smack the devil wants to land on you. Anyhow, I love my God. I yeah. love my Jesus. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of what he's done for my life, Steve. Amen. I can tell it forever and forever and forever. The Bible even says these are not my testimony. Amen. I have a testimony for Jesus Christ, what he brought me from, and what he's done for me. And I thank God for my family, my husband, and my children, and their families. They are awesome. Yeah. I have a great support team, and that's what family is all about. It's, it's a support team ordained by God in heaven from the get-go. And I just praise him. I love him with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. He's my everything. I worship him. He's my king of kings. He's my lord of lords. He is my everything. My everything. Amen. Amen. I, I can't help myself, God. I, I love running my big mouth. Amen. Come on. Bless him, brother. Lord, bless him. Bless my brother. I look at myself, God, as nothing. I mean truthfully <laughs> childhood was terrible yep. I always told you ain't nothing you ain't never going to make nothing that's right you know come up nine year old I was ready to end it nine year old I was so fed up with the dog the old dog step dads and everything else I mean that's what this world is that's right that's what it's been for a long time. Yes. You know, it just keeps getting a little bit meaner and a little bit meaner, Steve, every yep. day. The devil keeps on taking a little bit more, taking a little bit more Amen. control of everybody's life. Huh? He wants to tear and get in the middle of That's it, it and destroy it. That's right. But brother. you know what, Steve? I, I didn't know that at a young age. No. Nope. But you know what? We don't have to put up with that, Steve. No. Huh? I mean, uh, God. Oh, he's everything. <laughs> Her Lord and Savior is everything, God. Uh, praise God. When He saved us, He bought us out from that mighty clay. That's right. That set us up on a solid foundation. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. I don't want to brag about me, Steve, That's but right, I think you what these troubles of the world. They'll get you down. They'll throw you down in that old mire. That's what the world wants you to stay in, Steve. It don't right. want you to come up. It don't want you to stand up on that That's solid right. foundation. Right. Hey man, hey, I know I'm nothing. I know I'm, without a shadow of a doubt I'm nothing. Yeah. I've done things and I've been in things that I wished I'd never had. I've said stuff that I wished I'd never said, Doc. Yeah. But it's too late. Yeah. It's happened. Right. Forgiveness. I see it, bro. And go on. Get, the Bible says a righteous man will fall seven times, yet he'll get, get up. up. Yes. Praise God, he'll set us back up Amen. on that solid foundation. Yes where we will not be moved, where we will not be nothing.
not come. No matter what's going on in your life, hey man, we can shout and give God the praise. Amen. 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 With Bobby Amen. this morning, he can shout and give God the praise That's if right. he will, Steve. That's right, brother. Hey, I walked in alone. Nobody to reach out and help me. I walked in straight and narrow, narrow uh, alleyways where it's dark and it's darkness on every That's side, right. Steve. The depression <laughs> coming in. And the devil say, end it, take your life, get out of it. Yeah. Who would care? That's right. And at the time, Steve, I thought, nobody. Yeah. And they probably wouldn't have. I've been divorced. I'm divorced now. I got down. I got sick, Steve. They had me on 40-some different pills a day. That's just medications. That's not all inhalers. That's not the oxygen. That's not everything else. And they said, within seven years, your lungs will be gone. I'm working on seven years this this time right now, hey man. Hey, God took the oxygen off my back. Yeah. He took 20-some different pills from me, 23-plus pills from me. He took away all them them hat and them inhales. Let me get it out here this yeah. morning, hey man. Lord, I can't hardly talk to the presence of God. <laughs> Ain't he wonderful? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seven years, you lungs, you will make it seven years. Devil's a liar. That's, That's right. right. Doctors don't know everything. That's, That's right. right, brother. God gave them so much sense, Steve. Yeah. I mean, that reminds me of the woman with a 12-year issue of blood. Oh, yeah. Spent her life saving, spent all that she had running to the doctor. Oh, that's what I did, huh? I was running to one doctor, yeah. running to that. Yeah. Hey, I've got a buddy over here. Come see him. I'm telling you. It's more pills, bud. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've got friends. Oh, he's a good doctor. I can't I, I probably couldn't count on one, two hands, Steve, but doctors I had at one time. Yeah. Hey. They done all they could do. That's it. They done all they could do, Doc. Not much. They couldn't. <laughs> all they could do is give me another pill. That's it. Yeah. Amen. Another <laughs> pill. But I thank God. You know, when, when I come into obedience this last time, I think it's about two years ago, I know from a long time, let me back up, I know from a long time ago back, Brother David, what the Lord called me to do. But see, I was terrified because I had all that past hanging on yeah. to me. Yeah. No, that past, he kept, he kept showing his ugly face. Hey, yeah. you ain't worthy. You ain't yeah. nothing. You're nasty. You're filthy. Right. Who are you? Who are <laughs> you? Yeah. You're yeah. nobody. Yeah. Hey, you, we got to realize that one, one thing right there. We are nobody. That's right. In ourself. That's right. But brother. when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior yeah. and Him coming in, He's He's there. Mm -hmm. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. No but the one you can bear without a way to escape. That's and right. He gives us them doorways. He makes it ways, but he keeps your feet on that solid foundation. That's right, brother. We got to trust in him. We got to believe in him, in his word, what he's done, what he's created, Steve. That's right. I mean, well, if we leave and put it in his hands, <coughs> if I'd done that a long time, go back, it's hard to tell him where I'd be today. Right. But I can't look back. No. Nope. I hate it. But, see, that's one thing, too. We remember, Steve. That's right. And hate. And hate. Lord, I hate it. I didn't go sooner. I've had preachers turn on me. I've had preachers do things against me spitefully. Yeah. Set you up for a fall. Don't put your trust in man. Put him in God. Amen, brother. Well, you put him in God. He works all things out. When I step forth, Say, Lord, know my heart. Lord knew what it would take to get me. Because right there, Steve, is all I knew all my life is work. Right. With my hands, I went out here. I thought I. But when I was brought down to death, man, I realized, especially that last time when God showed me him. I'm going to tell you this day and time. 
right now and you listen by the airway and the video, yeah. there's hell to pay. Right. God is give you a way out as Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's why I'm, my favorite verse is John 3, 16. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That Amen. Whosoever right. believed in him. Yes. God so loved the world. That's right. And he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believed in him shall not perish. Brother, perish. But have everlasting life. Amen. That's what we had. Yes. <laughs> we trust in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But that's the only way. But see, when I believe, Steve, mm -hmm. it took me at believing and believing who He is. Amen. And getting in His Word. Oh, Lord, uh, the windows and doors open up. That's right. <laughs> you remember when I first started coming here? Yeah. <sighs> I remember, oh. brother. And breathe. Turn that oxygen up on my back. Yeah. 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 Ain't got a little bit more. Oh, you was up here preaching that day, Steve. <laughs> I've been praying the Lord. You you healed all these people that passed by the wayside. You passed, when you come to Rome and touched them. Yeah. He made him whole. You see. Yeah. Here. Oh, Lord, yeah. it's so good. Huh, Steve? Yeah. I said, Lord, you said you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change it not. That's right. You, can, you healed back then. You can heal now. And his word says That's right. He will. That's right. He never he said he will. But see, there's a little thing here. There's one little word. Right. Mm -hmm. If. Yeah. Remember that if God, if you will. And it says, for those who do my father's. That's right, brother. I wasn't doing the will of the Father. But when God showed me hell, that scared me. That scared me for the sinners. That scared me for my family, Steve. That's right. I've lost everybody except maybe one aunt that yeah. I can talk to every once in a while. Right. And I got Sierra, I got Bobby and Savannah, Savannah and Richard. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But my brother, sister, my early age. Yeah. But God told me, Steve, when he came, he said, if I will, yeah. I'll save your family. That's what he told me. That's right. Me. And I believe that because before my brother passed on, <laughs> just a little while shortly, <coughs> he said he accepted the Lord as his Amen. Family. That was a testimony that I had. But I can't say about other family members. I can't. The Bible said not to. Not to say who I see or who I didn't see. That's right. We know ourselves in our heart. I can't stay here and look at Joe. I can't look at your heart. But Jesus does. God does. He looks inside. Not on the outward appearance of what we look like. Because one day we're going to be changed. The moment we're going to be changed. We're going to be changed. That's right. You're saved. You're born again. You're going home. That's right. But you know what? I, I got to believe in, in God's Word. His healing power. You was up here preaching that day, Steve. He said, I can't end out. He said, the Lord's still passing by. <laughs> How many times did you say it, Steve? Bunch in <laughs> you kept saying, the Lord's still passing Amen. by. And I was standing back here, probably against that bean bear. Yeah. That caught him and filmed. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no,
somebody else said that. I know. I know. Thank you, Lord. Taking an auction off my back. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for me not being paralyzed to you. Yes. Thank you, Lord, I'm still able to walk and talk. I might not be in 100% right in mind, but I don't have to be in mind. <laughs> I have to be in spirit. There you go, brother. <laughs> uh, Steve. Amen. That's true. Because that's what it is. Spirit. A direct contact. Amen. No two party lines. See? Yeah. I know. In contact. I thank the Lord. It, it's all Him, Steve. Yes, amen. And no, I'm nothing. But he's everything. Amen. And I think, I, I can't praise him enough, Steve. I can't thank him enough. I mean, I, Doc was uh, over here, she was uh, testifying, and I, I, I was ready to yeah. the moon. Yeah. Amen. I just think, but I'm going to host. I'm going to sit down. But if you're here today, and you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I ain't going to bless you. That's right, brother. Heaven or hell. That's it. And there's a cross there. That's a crossway. Crossway. Yeah. Jesus stuck. Amen. You got other problems you're dealing with? Other things troubling you in life? Whatever this need. Right here. When it got down like this. Say, oh, Lord. I can't take no more, Jesus. I'm so tired. Forgive me. And help me. Are you ready? And come along. Amen. Pick me up. Solid foundation. Yours to death. Okay, I'll actually look at the Lord. Um, for most, not the spirit of religion. Uh, and not, obviously, a savior, not just a savior, also, as these people have been talking about, a best friend right. um, to everybody. And it's very important that he meet you where you're at. A lot of people right. had a very wrong impression, uh, impression of Jesus. Right. Uh, they really do. They don't really understand the relationship, right. um, the love. Actually, being there for you, and you know, I'm so personally struggling with a lot of other things, but God has actually been there every single time, every single prayer, and it's always a joy every single day. Yes. And you know, a lot of people who don't know Christ as their Savior, they don't understand really what they're missing. You're missing your best friend, you're missing your, you know, so much love, so much, you know, somebody actually to speak to about things. And, he will talk back. Amen. So, Amen. It's not always easy, but he's always there. That's that yeah. for sure. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's something to be noted and remembered. And, you know, it's, actually, it's kind of hard to actually share it, though, in a way, because unless you have a personal relationship with Jesus, yeah. you're just trying to spout off some religion. Right. Without, you know, the person actually understanding what you're really talking about. Right. So there's like, you know, right, you know. But maybe to actually do your life, next week? Yeah. Amen. We already did it. Would it bother you if I asked you when you got saved? Hi. Uh, hi, our good friend. Do you remember when you got saved? Do you remember? Yeah. Is, it, is it okay to ask him? Yeah. Remember what you were talking about? Yeah. A long time. He said about three years ago. 
I can't either. I've never had that too long ago. You're, you may have left it. I remember too. They come back and talk to me. We made sure about the times too. But if all you read is actually when you got there. Um, yeah, because I can't tell you <laughs> the exact time. It was um, in the late 30s, early 40s. Praise the Lord. What about that? I know what was going on at the time, but right now I can't tell you the exact time at all. <laughs> you know it. Amen. <laughs> God. You remember? Well, I couldn't tell you the exact day, but it was pretty recently, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we. Mm-hmm. We got on our knees by under an oak tree over there in the yard. Mm-hmm. It was getting dark. Praise <laughs> God. Thank you, Lord. That's the time we wanted to shake him in. You were pretty young, weren't you, back when you got back? How young were you? Probably eight. Oh, maybe we'll be talking about it, yeah. Oh, uh, you, you remember when you got saved? Probably a year ago. Yeah. Right. I don't know if you got saved. You didn't go to school as a kid. Made sure. Remember the year you got saved? About nine. What about that? <laughs> Tell you what, now, we'll see about it, we'll talk about it, but uh, there might be some other testimonies. We're running a little late tonight, uh, today rather, and so we may wait on it. So uh, if uh, when you get here at the next service, uh, if you want to get a testimony, we'll do it. We're going to do it right now, we'll wait on it. Amen. Yeah. Anybody feel like you didn't get a testimony right now? Anybody? Mine will take a while, so we'll wait. <laughs> I was ready to report. I didn't realize we were poor. So I didn't. For a while ago, the people.